Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in. We've got the foot birthday Eric Bailly review for you guys, where we where we do every single player review there is as of the promos launch. So if you guys want to check out all the foot birthday, check out our playlist uh, below. If you guys need help coins, all that type of stuff, come to, to the profile. But anyways, forgive all that stuff because we are interested in how long he's on the market. How much is he going for? It's 186 rated squad going for probably around 200,000 coins or so. But is he worth it? Let's see here. We all know who he is. Uh, he's got great. He's actually got pretty good stats. The only thing is he's not going to be able to pass well, even though he does have the five star weak foot, medium high work rates, which we do like the work rates. And so his stamina is going to be good. His defending is going to be solid. His dribbling and now his agility is a, a, is a lot higher than a ma ma majority of the game. His composure is actually a decent rating. In that aspect, it's a good card. But his pace is just a 79 pace is not bad. It's good. It's I consider this card a half meta. But is he worth it? Now, hear me out, guys. This is where it gets tricky. Is he worth it? I think it could totally depends. I, I, I think it depends on where your skill level is. I, I think it depends on how long you've been playing this game and where your team's at. Because the thing about it is, if your skill level is in the super meta, you're in the pro end market, I would not say this is for you. If you are gold one or below, I think this is a very, 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 very good card to be able to play and compete at all the way up to the gold one level. Now, going to elite, I think this is still a card that could compete with elite, but to give you the best odds and chances, I think this one lacks a few uh, key stats and that's within his dribbling ability and his actual passing ability because you are going to notice tons of issues with him also his positioning is going to be poor so people are going to be able to poach passes press high and those late stage games where you make one mistake he will most likely make that mistake now but given all of that let's hear hear me out guys is he worth it though now, if you just started this game and you need a really good center back and you have, you know, 400, 500,000 coins, would it be worth to spend 200,000 on a center back? I wouldn't necessarily say so if you're just starting this game out. But if you've been playing this game, you have your like team of the year or your uh, team of the month or player of the month, uh, Bruno Fernandez, you've got some good links to Eric Bailly. You like playing with Rashford. You've got like a red 86 Rashford. You like those type of links. This could be your card. It's a very good card. It's a half meta. I think it's it's right there before you get to, to the meta, super meta market. It's a very good card, but there are some key issues with it that you're not going to notice but when it comes to defense he's going to be superb the second he touches the ball that's when his issues are so the second you get the ball push it away from him but that's my review guys i hope you guys like this review i hope you guys like this content if you guys need any more questions ask me below and if you guys need help in gameplay come by our live stream and check us out on our coaching methods so until next time guys my name is john sams and i will see you tomorrow. Deuces.